Hello friends. So today we'll be using the email service that is Azure SendGrid. So what we will do is we'll create a .NET console application and via SendGrid we'll send an email. So before doing that, we need to create a SendGrid account. So let's go to Azure portal. So I'm into Azure portal. Let's go to SendGrid. So let's go and add the account. Select the resource group, select the location, enter your name, enter your password, enter your first name, last name, email and company and everything and let it be as a free tier for the demo. Then just click and review and create. So this will create an account for you. I won't click on this because it will take time. I have already created, I will go there. So I'm going to the pre-account created account. So there, so this is created. Now we need to create an API key. So this API key will act as an important authentication parameter, which we'll put in a, put in a console app. So let's go to manage. So this goes to a SendGrid app. So we are in, so we'll go to settings, API key. So let's generate the API key. Let's put a name, test, email. So now it's up to you to give a full access, restricted access, billing access as per requirement created. So now I've created it. Now I can copy it only once and once this is done you won't be able to copy so let's save it so now our setup is done now let's go to the console application so what we need to do is let's go into a new project Select a console app, give a name. Service, so create. So now this is there. Now, before doing anything, we need to install a NuGet package. So we'll install SendGet package. Let's go to tools, NuGet package manager. Go to manage. So there, just browse SendGrid. So this is the package. Select a project, install it. Once it is installed, you can see under dependency, you can see the package. Let's go to the program. So now we'll go to the Microsoft website. So here if you see, it's a simple code, very easy to understand. Let's copy it. So I'll put this link on the video description. So you can copy from there. Let's go here, paste it. So now it's giving an error because we don't have the references. Let's copy. So these two are coming from the new get, the from the SendGrid package. Now see, it's quite simple. This is the one which actually sends your email, and here you are setting up the message object, and under that properties, you are setting everything for the email. That is, from subject, HTML content, everything. So now to send this. There are two, one thing important, it needs an API key. So what it's saying is you can set up an API key in Windows environment variables. From there you can read it. So we'll directly paste the API key here. So let's copy this. Then let's put get to and from email addresses uh, 
let's copy this copy this very simple code done let's run it So it's successful without any errors. Let's go to the email and see if we have received the email. Yeah, boom, we got the email. So this is what we sent it. So it's good. So thanks for joining in this session. See you in the next one.